guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm filming probably one of my favorite type of videos to film, let's be honest, and that is my monthly book haul. This month, I went a little crazy. To be completely honest, like, I bought a lot of books. They're right there. So, let's go ahead and get started, because this might be a long video, and, you know, it happens, but anyway. The first book I purchased this month I bought right before school started at my local like independent bookstore and it is a book I technically already own but I wanted this particular edition and that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss and this giant and the giant paperback edition that's so floppy and amazing. I've talked about this book a lot on my channel mostly me talking about how I need to read it. It is a prolific high fantasy novel that is very very loved, very very esteemed, and I really want to read it and I'm hoping now that I have acquired this new edition I'll be more likely to actually do that. The next couple of books I'm going to show you guys I got off of bookoutlet.com. I will leave my link to my page below that I have on their website which shows all the books I purchased from them. The first book I picked up was A Thousand Names by Django Wexler. Now this book I have seen around booktube, I've seen some reviews, and for the most part people have said really positive things, but the thing that drew me to this, it is a high fantasy novel, but it is a flintlock fantasy novel, so it's set in like a traditional high fantasy setting, but there's like a Victorian era type of thing going on with guns and gunpowder and stuff like that, so that really intrigued me. Not to mention, I think this is pretty war heavy and I actually really like reading fantasy books with a lot of war strategy, so I'm hoping I really enjoy this, so I picked this guy up, plus it was hardcover for so cheap. The next book I picked up is a young adult novel that has really, really great reviews, and that is The Walls Around Us by Novenrenzuma. This also has an amazing cover, and I've actually been eyeing this for quite a long time. I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't know what it's about. And I tried reading the inner flap, and I'm still really confused about what it's about. So I think it's kind of like done on purpose that we're supposed to be confused about it. Um, it sounds really good. Libba Bray blurbed it. I think it's going to be dark and suspenseful. It's a really great winter read, especially with October coming up. And so I picked it up because, again, it was super cheap. Cheap. <laughs> And yeah, the next book I picked up is A Man Called Ove, and this is about like an old grumpy man who I think makes an unlikely friendship with a young girl. I'm hoping this gives me like the same feels that A Story Life of A.J. Figgery did, just about a man redeeming himself, and it makes you feel things like happiness and stuff. Um, it's like an international bestseller, so I'm hoping it's really, really good. The cover is really cute as well, and I don't know, I'm just hoping for happy feels with this book you know, pull it on your heartstrings, feel good time. And the last book I picked up from Book Outlet I'm really, really excited for, and it is The Returning by Christine Hinwood. This won the Prince Award, like, many years back. But this something about, it's, a, it's set in a fantasy landscape, and it's about the return after a war. Like, what do you do now when the war is over? Which I think is a really interesting plot to explore and to discover, and something I don't really think is explored often, especially in this setting, so I don't know. It has really, really good reviews, like I've said for all of these books so far, and therefore it's really intrigued me. I'm hoping this is really good. I've been very impressed by Prince Award winners in the past, so I'm really looking forward to this guy. The next book was sent to me by a publicist, and it is Armada by Ernest Cline. This is a very famous author who's actually from Austin, Texas, which makes me so happy. But yeah, Ernest Cline wrote Ready Player One, which I read last year and I really, really enjoyed. I've heard mixed things about this. Uh, I, either people really, really love it or kind of are kind of disappointed by it, but I believe it's another science fiction tale of adventure following a young boy who's kind of thrown into this crazy space adventure uh, modeled off of some of our favorite old video games. Well, for that reason, I really want to give it a try. I think I'm hoping I'm going to be one of the people that like it because it seems like something that's right up my alley, but... I'll let you know. Next two books I have already hauled and read, but I wanted to quickly mention in this video because I recently got them signed at a book festival and I actually met the author and I, I don't know, I'm really excited about it still. And then it's To All the Boys I Love Before and P.S. I Still Love You. I met Jenny Han at Texas Teen Book Fest like yesterday and uh, she signed these for me and I don't know, I'm still excited about it. So I wanted to, I wanted to show you guys. To Reagan. The next guy is an obvious inclusion in this video, and I will m briefly mention it, and that is Queen of Shadows by Miss Sarah J. Moss, the behemoth that is this book, somehow longer than Air of Fire, but was wonderfully, wonderfully crafted. I loved it. In fact, I did a book talk on this book, so if you're interested to hear my in-depth thoughts, 
I will link that down below for you, but obviously this is the continuation of the Throne of Glass series, book number four. Can't tell you what it's about, because spoilers, but if you haven't read this for some reason, please do. It's amazing. Throne of Glass is the first novel. So good. I love it. One of my, my, one of my favorite young adult fantasy series. So, yeah. We have one I'm also pretty excited about, and that is A Book of Spirit and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. I have read the first three books in the Fallen Kingdom series, uh, also written by Morgan Rhodes, and this is a prequel novel set thousands or hundreds of years before the setting of the Fallen Kingdoms series, following multiple perspectives, and one of those perspectives I actually think is someone who's from our modern age that somehow got transported back. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to it. I really have enjoyed Morgan Rhodes' books so far. They're definitely not like my favorite fantasy out there, but I've really, really enjoyed the ride, and I really like her characters, so I'm hoping this guy is really good. Plus, it looks really nice on my shelf, because all the spines match. Thank you, publishers. The next book I'm going to talk about about is another sequel and that is The Mime Order by Samantha Shan. This is the sequel to The Bone Season which I read last year and I really really liked. It is a young adult adult science fiction fantasy paranormal shenanigans. I couldn't even really describe the genre but the point is I really like the first one. This is the second book to a very long series. I think it's gonna be seven books. If you're not aware the Bone Season is about a girl who basically can like control people's minds and that is very illegal in her society. So she's a part of a gang who so she's a part of a gang that can do a variety of mental hacking and she's captured at the beginning of the book and then the story takes place from there. I really liked it. I'm excited to continue on when I do and yeah, I just thought it'd be a good time to finally get this guy. And the last book I'm going to show off today is this guy, The Search for Wandla by Tony Dizzatilorlizzi. This guy illustrated and wrote the Spider Book Chronicles along with Holly Black way back in the day, one of my favorite little children's book series growing up. I've already read this and I'll have more of my thoughts in my wrap up, but I will say I really, really loved it. This is a middle grade science fiction adventure story with beautiful accompanying illustrations. I absolutely flew through this and honestly it's been a long time since I've been so transported by a middle grade series. Like I really really liked this. It was so great and I'm happy that I found another middle grade series that I'm like really invested in and I can't wait to read the sequel. Um, it was so good. Like I so highly recommend this book if you haven't heard of it or picked it up because it is really 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 fun and it's a great time for like all ages like seriously kids are gonna love this adults are gonna love this it's so good or they probably already have loved it because it's been out for like six years but Alrighty guys, that is my book haul for the month of September. Let me know down below some of your favorite books you picked up this month and I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!